Kinetic Cafe in Blackport's Tuttle Athletic Complex will reportedly be closing at the end of the semester. The Blackport Auxiliary Service Corporation, BASC, suggests that students can go to the Raj Madan Cafe in Drake Memorial Library. That's a poor suggestion. For students that frequent Tuttle, they're going to go from let me grab something from Kinetic Cafe real quick to let me make travel plans to go to the library cafe tomorrow. <laughs> and no one actually plans to go to the cafe in the library. You just realize you haven't eaten after five hours of writing a paper, then go buy a milkshake and some random snack. <laughs> Plus, if we can be honest, I barely even go to Tuttle. So there hasn't been a snack in that building for a long time. <laughs> Could you give us a forecast for the rest of the year, next semester? Like, how much snow should we expect? Well, you should get ready for a lot of snow. A lot of snow. I'm talking six feet every day. There'll be so much snow mm -hmm. that you can ice skate on the Erie Canal. Mm -hmm. There'll be so much snow that the red giant phallus statue will become a popsicle. <laughs> There'll be so much snow that the block pot Wi-Fi will freeze. That happens every day. And so, excuse me. This squirrel will cry. Oh no! Oh, my nuts are frozen! What will I do? Um, are they nature? What? That's not a squirrel. It is a squirrel. It's not a squirrel. It is a squirrel. She told me she's a squirrel. It is, is a squirrel. I'm it's, telling you, it's, it's a squirrel. It's a beer. That I don't like that nonsense. Test. It's a squirrel. Hello and good evening. Welcome to the Talent Comedy Desk. I'm Kadeem Blackman. And I'm Alan Fry. A brand new Chick-fil-A restaurant is set to open in Rochester, New York later this month. Though the franchise is a southern-based company, it will have its own upstate New York twist because the drive through will have 800 potholes before you get to the window. <laughs> a new hookah lounge called The Irie Spot opened in the village of Blackport in early August. This might put the Blackport crossings out of business. <laughs> the Irie Spot is located where the bad soul food restaurant Taste of Soul used to be, and every hookah offered by the lounge has more flavor than Taste of Soul's macaroni and cheese. <laughs> Over the summer, Apple became the first public company to reach a trillion dollar market cap. Apple was then contacted by Brockport Parking Services who said, welcome to the club. <laughs> Last week, Sears filed for bankruptcy, announcing that it would close over 100 stores. After hearing this news, Macy's was spotted in the forbidden forest outside Hogwarts, drinking unicorn blood. <laughs> the village of Brockport's Lift Bridge Bookshop is in fear of closing due to a decline in student customers. I hope they stay open because someone might take the location and open a new taste of soul. <laughs> Brockport Dining Services have stopped selling Oreo Shamrock Shakes because the specialty was only scheduled to be served during the month of March. So. So, if a shady dude outside of Hartwell Hall tries to sell you a shamrock shake, he's probably talking about a different kind of shamrock. Rapport Health Services gave out free flu shots to students during the college's health and wellness fair. Initially, the event had a great turnout, until freshmen realized that flu wasn't a type of alcohol. Actress Julia Roberts will be visiting Rochester, New York in May to accept the George Eastman Award for her contributions to cinema. Instead of a trophy, she will be handed a garbage plate and a Wegmans coupon. At this year's Billboard Music Awards, Drake won 12 awards, becoming the artist to win the most Billboard Music Awards with 27 in total. Drake now has more awards than times he's visited his son. Last month, Wendy's released an actual hip-hop mixtape titled We Beefin' on iTunes, Spotify, and Google Play. McDonald's also attempted to release a mixtape, but their mixtape machine was broken. <laughs> and McDonald's mascot, Ronald McDonald, wasn't able to contribute a verse to the potential mixtape because he wasn't feeling well. However, he was replaced by another clown when Little Pump hopped down a song. Rihanna recently criticized Snapchat after the app ran an insensitive advertisement for a mobile video game called Would You Rather? 
which asked if you'd rather hit Chris Brown or hit Rihanna. Since the singer's criticism, Snapchat stock fell by approximately $800 million. However, Snapchat probably isn't fretting over the money because they're used to everything they have only lasting for a few seconds, then disappearing. <laughs> and of course, they will always have the money saved to their memories. American gymnast Simone Biles won five gold medals at the FIG Artistic Gymnastics World Championships, bringing her total to 25, which earned her the record for most medals ever won by a gymnast. This means that Simone Biles now has more medals than the Beatles have number one hits, more medals than Mill Streep has Oscar nominations, and more medals than Brockport has parking spots. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts will be changing its name to just Dunkin'. Dang it, said Russell Westbrook, thinking of a new name for his bakery business. <laughs> UMBC, the University of Maryland, Baltimore County Retrievers men's basketball team, made history becoming the first number 16 seeded team to defeat a number one seeded team during March Madness when they defeated Virginia in the first round. Many were surprised by the victory. However, I was not surprised by the concept of a retriever being really good at basketball because I have seen every movie starring Air Bud. Professional tennis player Naomi Osaka announced that she will renounce her United States citizenship and represent Japan at the 2020 Olympics. Osaka would have probably chosen to represent the U.S. if her name was Naomi Chicago. <laughs> After winning the Australian Open, Naomi Osaka became the first Asian number one seeded player in tennis history. Dang it, said Drake reading the news on his phone while trying out for the Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> Desiree Linden became the first American woman to win the Boston Marathon since 1985. When asked what helped push her to victory, she said strength, motivation, and a bunch of red shells that she threw at other runners. <laughs> Shakiri Richardson, a freshman track and field runner from Louisiana State University, broke the collegiate record for track and field in the women's 100 meters with a time of 10.75 seconds. Here's footage of the race. Want to see it again? Avengers Infinity War. Wrong picture. <laughs> Avengers Infinity War had the biggest box office opening weekend for a movie ever, surpassing the fate of the Furious and... La 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 what are you doing? I haven't seen it yet. No spoilers. I'm not even talking about what happened in the movie. Sure. Surpassing the fate of the Furious and Star Wars. Star Lord dies? No! La 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 I said Star Wars. Have you not seen this movie? I, I, I don't care. La 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 la... Wait, Batman doesn't die, does he? Batman's not even in the movie. Ah! Why would you tell me that? La 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 He's la, DC. La. He's running for president? Why do you hate me? Okay, I'll, I'll skip to the next joke. Wakanda forever! Marvel's Avengers Endgame had a $1.2 billion opening weekend, breaking the record for the biggest opening weekend for a movie. After finding out that millions of people saw Endgame and wanting some of that attention for herself, Aisha Curry created her own cinematic universe, beginning with the film Aisha, Age of Needing Approval. <laughs> Marvel's Black Panther became the first movie since 2009's Avatar to win the box office five weeks in a row earning more money than any other movie for five consecutive weeks. This comes as a major surprise because unlike Avatar, Black Panther was actually an enjoyable movie. It was announced that actor Henry Cavill would no longer be playing Superman. Dang, can't we just have a Superman with no drama? It's like the only person who can keep playing Superman with no issues is Lois Lane. <laughs> Now
It's an automatic nose picker. <laughs> an automatic nose picker. Yes. And get your nose picked. Just watch. Hey. Okay, I, 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 th I think that you missed your nose. On October 1st, Brockport alum and Hollywood actor Bill Fichtner visited the college at Brockport and held a screening of his film, Cold Brook, followed by a question and answer session. After about 10 questions, Fichtner stormed out of the room because people kept asking who he was. Spike Lee won his first official Oscar for Best Adapted Screenplay for his film Black Klansman at this year's Academy Awards. Mr. Lee was in shock, not because he finally won, but because he finally found out that the Oscar statue is two feet taller than he is. <laughs> movie director Tyler Perry unveiled his new movie studio, Tyler Perry Studios, and is now the first African American to completely own their own movie studio. And this is pretty amazing, but things are gonna start to get weird when Perry gets sick and Medea starts showing up to business meetings. <laughs> Director Steven Spielberg doesn't think that movies on Netflix should be eligible for Academy Awards. But you know what should be eligible for an Academy Award because it was a movie? ASU's Art Show! <laughs>students of African descent and the Men of Color organization. Alan, it's Men of Color. Yeah, I, that's what I said, Men of Color. No, Men of Color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Men of Color. Repeat after me. Men. Men. A. Uh, of. Color. Color. <laughs> Never mind, just... Just go to the next joke. What did I do? <laughs> Rockport TSA will present its annual carnival event with the theme, Welcome to Spice Island. The theme is also the same thing cooks at garnishes say when they add a little salt to the chicken. <laughs> Last month, the Organization for Students of African Descent, OSAD, presented its biggest event of the year, All Black Everything. Ugh, we have to rename our event again, said the president of Rockport's new golf club. This weekend, the Organization for Students of African Descent, OSAD, will present its annual event, All Black Everything. If the event was put on by Black Post Administration, it'd be called a disproportionate amount of Black Everything. <laughs> Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France, caught on fire on April 15, 2019, where its roof and spire burned down. It... You want to know what else was fired? Don't do this. ASU's Art Show! <laughs> The Walk Your Way Fashion Club will host its annual event, Brockport's Next Top Model, on October 5th with the theme, Diamonds Are Forever. Due to budget cuts, BSG suggested that the club change the theme to Rhombuses Are Quadrilateral. <laughs> All of the candidates running for cabinet positions in Brockport student government dropped out of the race for personal reasons or conflicts between running mates. Honestly, we should have seen this coming. All of the presidential candidates and their running mates looked like friends who decided to go to prom together as a last resort because they couldn't find dates. Like, they're friends, but they don't really like each other that much, but still want a date for the special night, but having to go with someone you don't want to go with just makes the night less special and you feel stupid, so you just go home early. News out of the College of Brockport, Brockport Student Government, BSG, announced that hip-hop artist Lil Yachty would be performing in the Cirque during Springfest. BSG probably had to settle for Lil Yachty because Lil Eagle Boy, Lil Green Lean, and Lil Gumball Machine weren't available to perform. BSG announced that the performers for the 2019 Springfest would be the band We The Kings and rapper Black Bear. The Cirque is going to be emptier than the lecture hall class the week before spring break. They could honestly probably hold this concert in Jitterbug's Cafe. 
Blackport Student Government, BSG, has decided to cancel Blackport's annual spring concert due to budget cuts. So there won't be a performer for this year's Spring Fest, but that's probably a good thing because BSG would have probably picked the Wiggles to headline the show. <laughs> and then the BSG fan club assembled and chimed in. This person says, I'm not getting the black bear hate here. Maybe I'm missing something. Yeah, you're missing the context of the entire situation. <laughs> then this person says, this isn't the only thing your student activity fee goes to. If you really have that big of a problem, don't go and don't pay $10. Yeah, excess military expenses aren't the only thing your taxes go to. If you really have that big of a problem, don't join the military. <laughs> Y'all need to chill the F out. Thanks, BSG. Um, I know you just dismissed class, professor, but did we have any homework tonight? <laughs> Who did you guys expect? We're a D3 school, not a big school with tons of recognition. It's not like we're gonna snag Kanye or Ariana Grande. Be grateful we at least have a spring concert. Stop it. If Pete Davidson could get Ariana Grande, Brockport could get Ariana Grande. <laughs> BSG introduced a new logo design this school year. Compared to the old one, the new logo is sleek, modern, and accessible. Unlike Mortimer Hall. <laughs> Cleanup crews continue to remove asbestos from the basement of Bramley Hall. Meanwhile, the toxic slime oozing out the walls of Mortimer Hall continues to live its best life. <laughs> On January 24th, 2020, Dr. Heidi McPherson, president of the college at Blackport, removed Dr. Cephas Archie from his position as chief diversity officer of the college. McPherson and the college have been receiving backlash and criticism for the decision. McPherson hasn't given a reason for the removal, stating that she cannot publicly discuss personnel matters. AKA, saying that she removed Dr. Archie from his position because he's cooler than she is doesn't sound like a good reason. <laughs> Blackport students are in an uproar, allegedly, after it was announced that the 2018 undergraduate commencement speaker would be 1974 alum and representative John Faso, a politician who has supported various controversial viewpoints and projects throughout his career. Some students are considering protesting the speaker and the speech during the ceremony. It'll be entertaining to see Blackport students not knowing what they're protesting and show up wearing graduation caps that say boycott Starbucks and hashtag save net neutrality. <laughs> knowing Blackport, someone will probably pull up with a free Meek Mill sign. On October 16th, YouTube experienced an outage which lasted for over an hour. The outage also affected YouTube Music and YouTube TV. And I wonder if it affected Blackport because the college Wi-Fi has been trash for over a week. <laughs> YouTube restored the service after two hours. Blackport's technology support services took two weeks. <laughs> it wasn't that long. But I had to keep logging into the guest Wi-Fi without getting guest benefits, like not paying tuition. I just hope that all problems are resolved and that the Wi-Fi keeps working. Your minds ain't right. Like, tell me why this dude came up to me and was like, yo girl, you look nice. I know I'm gorgeous. Honestly, who raised these boys? Boys, not men. Okay. How can you talk to me and be broke? Like, how? I, I thought that was doing fine so far. <laughs> Listen, I don't have time for these broke boys who can't even afford a Big Mac from a corner store. Corner store? They sell bootleg Big Macs? I wouldn't know. I don't eat McDonald's or Wendy's or Krusty Krab. None of them jokes. Bad boys have no money and no manners. I know my worth and can't waste my time on no broke boys. All pretty girls know I'd be on my grind and making my money working three jobs. I'm self-made, no broke boys. Okay, so... Do you think that college-aged men are up to par with your work ethic? No, they aren't. But it be these girls too. They're immature and just as broke. And that's all for the Talent Comedy Desk. I'm Kadeem Blackman. There, 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 there. I reminded you to help control the idiot population and get, your, <laughs> get yourself spaced. <laughs>